Hi Capricorn, welcome. So glad you guys are here. So Capricorn, you have uh, started watching a Twin Flame journey reading. So this is, uh, we're going to do a quick check-in and see uh, where things are at for you guys uh, on your Twin Flame journey. You know, what the other person is uh, thinking or has to say. Um, so just remember Capricorn, this can be your feelings. It can be the person's feelings on the other, uh, the other twin. It's just up to you and how, um, the energy fits your story. Okay. So you can, re you can flip the energy. Energy is what I'm getting at. Uh, Capricorn, please hit the like, share, subscribe button for me. I really appreciate all of your love and support. Uh, I cannot grow my channel without you guys, and you know, you guys have been great supporters of the other signs. You guys, um, my followers have been just super, super amazing, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that, okay? And then if you are uh, resonating with this reading um, and you want to dig a little deeper into it, please check me out at my website. I offer Twin Flame readings there. Uh, you can find the details in the description box below. Uh, the website is MissMariesAngelicOracle.com. All right. All right, Capricorn. So I've already shuffled and meditated and got your energy into the deck. This is my Twin Flame Messages deck. And um, I've got a card here. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. I'm in a much better headspace now. So, you know, someone is, uh, has been healing, working on themselves, um, getting things right in their head. I feel like they were really clouded. Um, and then I've thought a lot about you lately. So, uh, Capricorn, this is, um, you know, your twin flame has been thinking about you. They are in a better headspace. And, you know, maybe you guys have seen each other. Maybe they're looking you up on social media. Um, maybe they're just looking at photos of you. But it's reminding them of things, I think, about themselves that um, they've grown to not, they don't like. They don't like these things about themselves. Okay? So I'm going to get you some messages. What's hidden from you, Capricorn, from the Hidden Truth Oracle, Spirit, Guides, Angels, what is hidden from Capricorn. I look for you everywhere. Yeah, see, they're looking for you. They're wondering about you. They want to know what's going on with you and your life. Um, I bury myself in work to forget you. And you don't know how hard it was to let you go. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, Capricorn. So, you know, so reminiscent. We both know that I'm not the one for you. Um, it's time for me to heal now. So, you know, right now, and then I'm, I am becoming a better person. So, you know, right now, Capricorn, what I'm picking up here is, uh, you know, where you guys are at in your journey is, you know, someone right now knows that they're, you guys are not meant for each other at this time because, you know, someone, I mean, they're, have gotten into a much better headspace, but they're also, um, when they, when, when they see you or you see them, however, this resonates, uh, it, it reminds you of things for you that you don't want to deal with. They're not easy to deal with. You don't want to remember. And that means to me that there still is a lot of healing that needs to take place before, um, the two of you guys can return to this relationship. All right, Capricorn. So, um, that's, you know, very, uh, twin flame energy for sure. So, um, you know, right now I've, what I'm picking up on is that this person or you, however, this resonates now I'm starting to yawn. I haven't yawned all day long. And whenever I start to yawn, someone's exhausted. Um, someone here is really tired that this situation has been exhausting and um draining and emotional i keep hearing the word emotional release your ex so um 
you know, when I see that, this this could mean that there was a third party that someone is is still is with someone, like the the twin flame relationship ended, um, <clears throat> and that uh, they got in into another relationship and they're trying to release that person right now. Forgiving and learning, you know, and this is pretty common in twin flames, um, multiple, you know third-party situations. Uh, it's pretty common, unfortunately. But, you know, huge lessons to learn in it, and um, these types of lessons can cause people to really change. And unrequited love. So, um, yeah, I mean, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, I feel like this is about this ex person in this case, or this person that they're trying to uh, release. I don't feel it's you, which is why they're thinking about you. Um, they're reminded of this, this ex person. Um, that's what this, this uh, seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep, you know, that they don't like, they don't, they don't, they don't like that. They don't like that. Um, this is what they've done. They don't like that. Uh, wow, I'm going to take this. I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do-over. Um, this card was flipped over on the deck for some reason. So this is a direct message from your twin and what they'd like to say to you. So, you know, they, yeah, they're thinking about you and how, you know, they, they'd like to try again with you. Um, I'm definitely picking up on the fact that they are healing right now, that they know they need to heal. Ah, I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. See what I'm saying? They're healing and they're working on themselves because they don't like this energy here. I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with, right? They see you. So that's why I'm saying they're not quite ready to come back. They got involved with someone that they're not in love with. Hurting you is not part of the plan. They definitely got involved with someone, a third party, and they made the wrong decision. And now they know. I've not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. Deliver me from temptation. See that third party. And I wasn't ready for what you were offering. So, you know, that also is pretty typical in a twin flame where one person is vibrating on a higher uh, vibrational level than the other. And um, the other needs to kind of go through some things in order to have some realizations, in order to raise up their vibrational level to match yours. Okay. So. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Uh, my advice to you is to keep doing what you're doing, keep growing. Um, if you're the person, you know, that is, this was done to you, keep growing because when you do that, you make yourself even more attractive because what happens is when we start to grow, we start to love ourselves more. We start to appreciate ourselves more. We start to like each other or like ourselves more and then the people around us start to notice that, right? So you'll notice that more people are drawn to you. Um, and because you're connected with this person, your twin, they feel that. They feel you're doing that. They feel those changes happening, which uh, pushes them to, like, something clicks. And they're like, oh, my gosh, I, you know, I miss my person. I miss my twin flame. Um, I feel that they are disconnecting from me and it causes them to start doing the work that they need to do um, in order to kind of match up to your energy. So you're not like this anymore. You're like this, right? You're balanced like the scales. Okay. So uh, keep doing what you have been doing and, you know, let this person start working on themselves. Um, I feel like you need to let them come to you. Um, I feel like that is actually really a big thing for them to um, come to you when they're ready to come to you and apologize to you for what they've done and, um, you know, make this situation right. 
um, and bring you, you know, closure so that you both can start to put this in your past. Um, so, and then Capricorn, if this is you, uh, if you are the person that needs to do this, um, then, you know, do it because, uh, this, this unrequited love and release your ex is what's holding you back right now from your true path. Uh, the person that's going to love you and support you and be the greatest love you've ever known. All right, Capricorn. So I love you guys. I hope this reading resonates and I would really appreciate it if you hit the like, share, subscribe button for me. Um, you know, the cool thing, if you subscribe, it notifies you when I've uploaded a new video for you. And I will be doing a recheck um, in October uh, to see where things are, are at in the situation. All right. So um, good luck with everything. I'm sending you love and light, Cap, and I will see you next month. Take care. Bye, Capricorn.